Hi traders, a short recap of my trading session today. We're going to talk about SE. Look at this beautiful intraday formation about to break down under the lows. Now, first, before you make a decision, always take a look at the daily. I'm moving to the daily and now you can see that we are right at the low end of the of the downtrend and we are about to break down. So again, I'm looking at the intraday formation. It's a beautiful uh, inverse cup and head formation. I'm looking at the lows, which is 202.36. Extremely important because you want to move into a trade like that before it moves to a new low. Always remember that extremely important when you are taking a breakdown or a break up, if you're going long, always move in before it moves to a new low. Otherwise, you will not have any liquidity. You will be chasing the price down. Your risk reward all goes wrong. So always move in before. So again, watching the sellers here, 20239, clicking the button here before it moved to a new low. I have 4,000 shares before it moved to a new low and I'm already up to grand. Now, the stock is coming down. Why? Because technical analysis is really a self-fulfilling prophecy. The stock just moved to a new low because it has a fantastic technical formation, not only the intraday, but also the daily. So if you look at the intraday and you ask yourself how many people just shorted it at that point who saw the same thing I saw, well, you have to look at the volume. Look at the volume. The volume is almost 6 million shares. That means a lot of people were watching it. And that's why technical analysis works best when you have a stock that is looking so nicely uh, and about to break down. I mean, such a nice technical formation. Look at the way it consolidated. Look at the way that the sellers became more and more aggressive until it broke down under lows. I'm already up more than four grand and I'm looking for the first pullback in order to take my partial. I'm going to cover 3,600 shares. At that point right over here, you can see that it's starting to move up and I'm about to click the button right now, leaving just 400 shares. So that was a beautiful trade on the breakdown. And again, look at the bottoming tail right now. That shows you that the trade is actually, that the breakdown is actually about to fail. 80% of breakdowns or breakups fail. The only question is, where do you take your partial? Now, if you take a look at what happened later, you can see that it did come down. It did continue moving down. I'm still having 100 shares and I'm about to cover the last 100 shares. But look at what happened before that. If you can see here, it came down. I took my partial, then it moved up. I was down one point and I could only do that because I took my profit, I had my profit cushion, and then it just continued coming down. So now I'm covering my last 100 shares. And again, please remember, you always move in before the breakdown and you take a quick partial. Always take a look at the daily, look at the breakdown here. It already happened. As you can see earlier, we looked at the daily. It was not before the recent low. It, it was before the recent low, now it's after the recent the, the lows. I mean, the breakdown already occurred here. So always put in together the intraday technical formation, the daily technical formation, and once you put them all in together, you've got yourself a winning trade. Now again, if you take a look at the intraday, you can see that once I moved into the trade, it did continue lower. I took my partial and then you could see that it moved up. I was down at that point, approximately one point. And again, I couldn't have done that unless I had some profit in my pocket. And I said earlier that 80% of the breakdowns or breakups fail, but it's a failure for those who are not playing according to the rules. If you move in before the breakdown, it's kind of tricky. You need to anticipate that. You need to be experienced then you've got the chance not to chase down the stock and get in before the crowd. If you move in after the crowd, then you're chasing the price, you have a lot of slippage, you don't have enough liquidity, and you don't get to your target, and then it just pulls back up, and instead of having a winning trade, you're having a losing trade. So let the unexperienced traders get in. After you, you have to be there before the crowd. So you click the button, you move in, and then you take a quick partial because 80% of the breakdowns or breakups fail. So you need to play it as if it was a scalp, a quick scalp, put money in the pocket, and then just let the last 400 shares uh, run. So I, I reduced the size by 300 once it continued to move lower, and then I reduced the last 100 shares at six points profit but I couldn't have survived the pullback unless I have taken, I would have taken my partial. So that's the whole idea. Now take a look at the results here. These are beautiful results and I had six winning trades today 
and just two losing trades. It's not my best trade. You see that my best trade is uh, actually Tesla today. But anyway, I really um, enjoyed this day. And if you like this video, I will appreciate if you give us a thumb up. And please remember that trading is extremely hard, extremely risky. And my results are very untypical. I'm making a lot of money or losing a lot of money, but I am a very experienced trader. I suggest you start with the demo. There's plenty of links right here below to some of our services, but also to a Colmex demo account. So you can use a demo account. Do not risk your own money. Do not lose more money than you can afford to lose. And please remember again, that trading is extremely hard. I want to thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video.